Yo, how's it going, gamers? It's your boy Chris here, aka Chris the Gamer, bring you guys episode five of GB Tips and Tricks, and it's been an awesome series. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have been giving. We're gonna be playing on Detroit. I want to see what's gonna happen if we rush this kid. Absolutely nothing. All right, well, this kid. I have no idea what he's doing, guys. Absolutely no idea. So we are just going to chill over here at A-bomb. We're in a really good position to continue to check the bomb. And if he plans B, oh well, he plans B. Then we're S-O-L. No purpose for us to leave this area. We're in a really good place. So just continue to check the bomb back and forth. Trust me, boys. He plans it here. He's flushed. I don't want to continue looking at middle because this guy... Is a guy that likes to use an AR, so if he is mid street, he's probably using an AR, and I don't want to get in a gunfight. Kind of don't even want to get in a gunfight with him over there, B. But this really is a person that does not want to plant the bomb. Oh my. He does really not want to plant the bomb, dude. <laughs> I know he's angry. I know he's so pissed off. I know this guy is pissed. It's just so funny because you can win 1v1s by playing chances by 50-50. A lot of people, I like to, I see people running around in 1v1s, running around just trying to check every single bomb. They check one bomb, they don't seem they check the other bomb. It's not that serious. Just either hit the bomb, you might get in a gunfight. If you don't, just stay there sometimes. Unless you know, you know exactly where the guy's going to be, then obviously you want to move and you want to do all your other stuff. Oh my, this guy's a flanker. This guy is a flanker. All right, well, at least we know now. But like I was saying, you don't need to do those things, boys. This guy's a flank. I really was not taking that into play. I really need to take those type of things into play. I didn't see him nowhere mid-street, and that was kind of weird to me. It was kind of awkward. I thought I was going to see him inside B, and boom, he's flanking. So that does suck that we didn't clutch up on that right there, but it's all good. It is definitely all good because we're going to destroy this kid and the fact that you shoot my body it doesn't really mean anything that's just stuff to try to get into you guys' head that's just something you guys need it takes time to you know that stuff not in, to uh bother you like look i could easily just shoot his body just like that but you know it doesn't matter i want to gun fight he just got destroyed right there that's a popular rush route a lot of people do it i do it all the time it's an easy way to get to your from your spawn to his spawn from his spawn to your spawn so it's a really easy way to just get to the map and kind of cut off the map a little bit see if you were in there or not so i mean i was going to check if he was there if he wasn't i think i was going to push out and i was able to see him there and win the gunfight so right here let's try to take the game away but like i said before don't let people get in your head he's shooting your body so what focus on the next round and we're going to focus on the next round just like this we're going to go towards a and we're going to see what the heck it is. Not checking nothing. No, he shotgunned us. I heard him at the last second. He knew that we were in here. Oh, that sucks. That really does blow. That was a round that we needed, and I should have just been pre-aiming the other side instead of pre-aiming the window. And that was just a round that we kind of choked, to be completely honest. We had a bomb down, and we should have just won that. Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I really do hate it. We should have won that round, boys. Uh, but it's all good. Like I said before, the game is not out of our reach. It's still in our hands, so no need to get pissed off. No need to get mad. This guy has not pushed B once. This is his round to go to B. I definitely know it. I feel in my veins. We're going to just go straight towards B. Look at that, boys. Predicting him, reading him in his brain. If you feel something, something in your mind is telling you this guy is going to hit something this round. Do it. Don't second guess yourself. So many times I used to second guess myself. And if I would have did what I was thinking, I would have won the round that easy, fair and square. And it sucks. Do what you think. You have to have a really good cause. It's like 
COD knowledge. If you know something's going on, then do it. Don't just not do it because you're afraid of doing it. It's just about implementing your rush routes and doing it perfect. Just do it. Do it. This has to do with gunfights. We see them. Oh, dude, that kid. Wow. I knew he was going to flank through since I didn't see him. I'm going for the shots, and this kid just... That IMR really is godlike on when the other person is host, and this kid is host. I'm not going to really use host as a excuse to why I lost that gunfight. It's the IMR. He puts a couple of bursts into me. I'm going to die, which does suck, but at the end of the day, it's all good. Not even going to complain. It's tied 3-3. It would have been perfect if we could have took that round because then we could have just got away from the game, but it's all good. Alright. Let me see what we can do here. We're getting stuck on stuff and shit. Alright. This guy is the guy that likes to use the AR a lot. I think he might go towards A. I don't think he just saw me. Yep, he didn't see me. If you guys did not see him, he was inside the window seal and he walked away. He could have killed me if he was looking right towards me, but he was not. Thank you, Cad Gods. The timing is in my hand. Like I said before, sometime it has to do with timing. If you guys were listening to me carefully, I said I'm going to hit A, and that's what I did. You know, I was like, I think he might be going to A, even though I was towards B. I don't know. Something just hit me, even though I was close to B. I could have checked it, and I would have never got that kill. So sometimes, like I said before, like I've been saying throughout this whole series, do what what you think is going to happen. If you have a play in your head first, do it. Do not second guess. Alright, we don't see him. We're a flank through. It's all up to you Plant now. B. The squad's counting on you. We're actually going to do another plant spot here. Basically, if we get all the way to green, it's over. It's over. If we can seriously get all the way over to B without green, without him ninja defusing, the game is seriously over. Alright, I saw him. He was middle map. We have time to check the bomb every now and then. Pretty sure you just saw me. Alright, now we just don't even have to challenge. Oh, we really did not have to challenge, and we challenged anyways. Uh, that right there, guys, is basically where we just choked around. We literally just gave this kid a round, and that sucks. We did not have to challenge. We literally could have waited one more second, one more second, and we would have won the round. Those plays right there, you really do have to be hard on yourself because you want to get better as a player, and you don't want to make those type of mistakes. Really good players aren't going to make those types of mistakes, and it was just like, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I guess I was like really itchy or whatever i don't really know the word to call that play right there i guess i was just trying to really make sure he didn't ninja even though there was no possible way that he could have ninja on me so it does suck that that happened That right there, I really thought that I heard him behind me, and I didn't, and then I was like, I was going to go out the steps, but I was like, there's no point in me going out the steps, might as well check the window, see what happens, like right there, I was going to go out the steps, and I was like, let's check the window, checks the window, and I see him, basic caught time, if I would have went down the steps, would have never saw him, would have basically just did a whole rotation around him, because I would have checked A, or he might would have saw him in the middle, and it would have just been, it would have just been a huge cluster, which would have been very bad. Right here, where I feel like it's time to challenge middle again because I don't think he's going to be looking for it. I honestly think he might try to flank B again. All right, we just on their middle. All right. That IMR is godlike.
last man standing. Finish it. We're gonna go for it. I don't think he's gonna check this either. Fifty fifty in it right here. All right, boys. Basic corner, he didn't check it. Sometimes you have to do spots that are out in the open. You want to know why? Because this game has been out for so many months. People know the day one corners. People know the day one spots. This kid was shooting my body tons of times. He thought he was going to get the W. You have to keep your head in the game forever in this series. As long as I'm playing these 1v1 series for you guys. I'm going to continue preaching that you have to keep your head in the game. Do not let stupid plays make you get pissed yes i should have won that round the game should have been over way before then because i had such a good plant spot i shouldn't have challenged but it is what it is some things happen in games that just don't go your way and you don't need to get mad about it learn from your mistakes don't do it again and become a better player overall Hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 5 of 1v1's GBS and D with your boy Chris. If you guys have, let's see if we can get another 15 likes. I really do enjoy the support you guys have been giving to the channel. And if you are a new viewer, maybe hit that subscribe button. Join the Chris Army today. He's going to be posting tons and tons of content for you guys. It's going to be epic. School's almost out. Can't wait. And the content's just going to be awesome. I'm trying to give you guys the best stuff that I can make in my ability. And that's what I'm trying to do right now with these tips. If you have any advice for me to kind of make these a little bit better for you guys put it in the comment section below as always it's been chris here i'll see you guys later peace out